could not read or write, the Quran itself confirms it this. Follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, they find described in the Torah that is with them, and in the Gospel. Moreover, he was not a poet, nor was he considered a master of the language. He did not engage in the craft of poetry. Therefore, to claim that the, he somehow managed to create a literary and linguistic masterpiece is irrational. Navid Kermani, an expert in Islamic studies, writes, he had not studied the difficult craft of poetry when he started reciting verses of the Quran publicly, yet Muhammad's recitations differed from poetry and from the rhyming prose of the soothsayers, the other conventional form of inspired me metrical speech at the time. The scholar Taki Usmani similarly argues such a proclamation was no ordinary thing. It came from a person who had never learned anything from the renowned poets and scholars of the time. He had never recited even a single piece of poetry in their poetic congregations, had never attended the company of soothsayers, and far from composing any poetry himself, he did not even remember the verses of other poets. We know, we know, we know from history that at a personal level Prophet Muhammad disliked poetry and there are instances where, where he attempted to relate some poetry and would jumble the words up. Aisha was asked, did the Prophet may, did the Prophet may the peace and blessings of God be upon him use to relate anything from poetry, she said. It was most de detestable thing to him, except that at times he used to relate a verse from the person of Ban Kays, and he jumbled it up. Abu Bakr told him it was not like that. So the prophet of God said, By God, I am not a poet, and neither is it appropriate for me. He could... How could Prophet Muhammad, unable to read or write and without any training or reputation for being a poet or linguistic, have authored the Quran, the most important work in the whole of, in the whole of Arabic literature? There might be some who would go to the extremes of claiming that Muhammad was such a genius that he was able to come up with the Quran in spite of his lack of poetic and linguistic training. However, such a claim is groundless. He, we know that all literary masterpieces written by geniuses have undergone revision and deletion, deletion to ensure literary perfection. An example to highlight this point is the work of the highly acclaimed poet Al-Mutanabi, he was considered to be to be the greatest of all Arab poets and an unparalleled genius. Yet he would he would correct his work and produce various edi editions until he was satisfied with his poetry. Contrastingly, the Quran was revealed on 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 stand on on and remained unchanged. Its verses were at many times revealed for specific circumstances and events that occurred during the period of revelation. Each verse was revealed without revision or deletion, yet were compiled together to create the Quran, a literary masterpiece of unusurped excellence. In this light, the explanation that it is a result of Muhammad's genius is not plausible. Another argument that dismisses the assertion that the Quran was a consequence of the Prophet Muhammad's genius concerns the existence of blueprints 
for human expressions and the tools required to re replicate them. All types of human expression, whether the result of a genius or not, can be imitated if the blueprint of that expression exists. Given that the tools are available for use to uh, for us to use, this has been shown to be true for various human expressions, such as art, liter literature, and even complex technology. But in the case of the Quran, we Quran we have its blueprint. The Quran itself and the tools at our disposal the classical Arabic language, yet no one has been able to imitate its eloquence and unique literary form. To elaborate on this further, consider the general consensus that Shakespeare is a literary genius. The English playwright may have been a genius, but his but his work as available as a blueprint for others to try and imitate. Since the blueprint of his work is available, it is not surprising that the English dramatist, dramatist Christopher Malau Malawi has a similar style, and that Shakespeare has been compared to Francis Beaumont. John Fletcher and other playwrights on his time of his time.